Okay, exam one, study guide. Okay, problem number one. Okay, here we have year before and this year. Okay, so we have production four thousand and four thousand one hundred labor. Hours used is 350, 375. Then we have capital okay, is 15,000 and 18,000. Then we have energy in kilowatt hours is 3,600. So that's our output and we have three inputs. Okay. First question is to compute individual single factor productivities. So if you take labor productivity then we get output is 4000 divided by input is 350 and that will give us 11.4286 and that is year before now this year is 4100 divided by 375 so that will give us 10.9333 okay and then we have change that will be 10.9333 9, minus 11.4286 will give you minus 0.4952 and we have to express that as a percentage so that is equal to minus 0.4952 and the original productivity was 11.4286 from that productivity has gone down so that's our original productivity so that's what should go in the denominator and you express that as a percentage so you multiply by 100 so change in productivity is 0.4952 and that as a percentage is minus 4.33 okay next is capital okay I'm going to do this capital a little bit differently from the answer that I've given in the study guide so we're going to use the cost of capital cost of capital is given in the problem as 20 percent so here given cost of capital is 20 percent of that capital so year before is 4000 divided by so 15,000 is the capital 20 percent of that okay and uh, that is equal to 1.333 and this year will be 4100 divided by 18,000 and then 20% of that. So that will give us 1.13889. So then change is okay, 
1.13889 minus 1.333 and that again is a negative number so productivity capital productivity has gone down minus point one nine four four. So change as a percentage is minus point one nine four four divided by one point three 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 and you multiply by one hundred and this change as a percentage is minus fourteen point five eight. It's about the same as if we had used the entire capital instead of 20% of capital. So 20% of capital used is the capital cost for the year. So this is a more accurate way of computing the single factor productivity for capital. Okay, next is energy. So energy, well, capital productivity would be units per dollar. Now, energy productivity is going to be units per kilowatt hour. So, once again, 4000 divided by 3000 will give you 1.333. And this year would be 4100 divided by 2600. And that number is 1.5769. So change is 1.5769 minus 1.3333 will give you 0.2436. So there is an improvement in productivity in the case of energy, so that as a percentage will be 0.2436 divided by the original productivity is 1.333 and you multiply by 100 and that gives you an improvement of 18.27 percent. Okay. So next we will compute multi-factor productivity. Next is um, multi-factor productivity, so that will be B. So we still have, the outputs are still the same, 4,000 and 4,100. Now we have to convert all the inputs into dollars and add them up. So we have labor, okay. And labor cost is $12 an hour. So, so year before is 350 hours times $12. So that will give you 4200 now this year will be 375 times 12 dollars so that will give you 4500 now capital remember cost of capital is given as 20 percent so we take 15,000 and 20 percent of that is 3000 Okay. And then take 18,000 and take 20% of that is 3,600. Then energy, the cost of energy is 40 cents per kilowatt hour and that's given again. So then you take 3,000 multiplied by 40 cents per kilowatt hour is 1200 and 2600 kilowatt hour times 40 cents 
is equal to 1040. So now we add these numbers and you get the total input is so this is total input 8400 and here it is 9140 so multi-factor productivity then is 4000 divided by 8400 that is for the previous year so that will be 0 0.4762 and this is in units per dollar here it will be 4100 divided by 9140 and that productivity is 0 0.4486 okay, now let's look at the change in productivity multi-factor productivity previous year this year change and changed as percent so this is multi-factor productivity so from the previous page previous year is point four seven six two this year is point four four eight six so change is point four four eight six minus point four seven six two and that is negative point four two seven six which means productivity has gone down so minus point oh two seven six divided by the original 0.4762 and you multiply by 100 and that gives us the change in percentage which is minus 0.58% so the productivity has gone down now what we want to do in C is we want to restore okay, we want to gain the loss in productivity back again next year so we want the productivity to go back up from 4486, 0.4486 to 0.4762. So productivity is 0.4762. And we want the output to remain the same as this year. The output is 4100. Now, and what is the input? So this is our target input. So X was then 4100 divided by 0.4762 and you get 86 steps. So that is our target input. So reduction in input needed is okay the the this year our input was 9140 okay and we have to reduce it to 86 step so which means we have to reduce input by 530 dollars